Okay, this is Wednesday's math for April 29th. Okay, and it's going to be cones and cylinder. So you'll need to get your cone and your cylinder that you made out. Trace one face of each shape. Explain what you notice about the faces of the cone and the cylinder. Okay, so let's talk about the cone first. The cone has one vertex and it has one face right there. What shape is its face? Right, it's a circle. Okay, the cylinder doesn't have any vertices at all or a vertex but it has two faces. It's got this one and this one. And what shape is this face? It's round, right. So what could you say if you trace around, remember it doesn't, it's not very nice to me. So if you trace around those faces, what would you notice? That they have the same faces, right? Okay, so you do that. You trace the face on your paper the best you can. And then you notice that they're both circles. All right, so turn your page and it just tells what we talked about. Cones and cylinders are two more types of three dimensional shapes. Both shapes have at least one face. Only cones have a vertex. So it shows you the vertex. Here's the face on the bottom. One face, one vertex. Here's a cylinder, face on top, face on bottom, two faces, zero vertices, and that's what they want you to do here. Look at this shape. Is it a cone or a cylinder? Circle the right one, write how many faces and how many vertices. Look at this shape. Is it a cone or is it a cylinder? Write how many faces a cone has and how many vertices or vertex does it have? All right, um, flip it over. Same thing, shows you a shape. So for whether it's a cone or a cylinder, write how many faces or vertices. And shape, is it a cone or a cylinder? Write how many faces, how many vertices or vertex it has. And then here it shows you your shape. Now, it wants you to circle the shape of the face. Now this is kind of tricky because this kind of looks like a triangle, but that's, this isn't the face of it. If you look at your cone, here's your face. What shape is the face? Find that shape and circle it. Okay, here's your cylinder. If you look at this here, it kind of looks like a rectangle. It's a picture of it, but if you get your 3D shape and you look at the faces, what shape is the face? Find it and circle it. All right, it says circle the object that has the faces shown. There are two faces that are shaped like circles. Which of those objects would have two faces shaped like circles. Remember the faces. All right, let's go to the back. It says, which three dimensional shape has only one face? Which of these has only one face? Write the name of that shape down. Okay. What shape are the faces on this cylinder? Draw each face. So write the shape that the face is and then draw each face. Okay, you can trace it or you can just draw the shape that it is. Okay, here's a hot problem. Which shape is different? Explain why it is different. So they are all different shapes, 
But, which one is completely different? Do all of these have faces? This one has faces. It has a face here and here. A cube. It has lots of faces. The cone has a face, just one, but it does have faces. But what about this sphere? Does it have any faces? It doesn't have any. Now this is the one that's different because it doesn't have any faces at all. And that's what makes it completely different. Okay? And that is your Wednesday math.